Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about show products by subcategory. So let's see how can we show products by subcategory. First of all, let's add a new column in products table. Uh, for that, let's create a migration uh, for adding new uh, column inside the products table. Okay, so switch to the command prompt and uh, let's run the command php artisan make colon migration a space migration name uh, let's say migration name is add underscore subcategory underscore id to products table products table okay and also add here the table name so just write here dash dash table is equal to products okay now press enter migration created now switch to the project and let's open the migration so just go inside the database directory then migration and from here let's open this one add subcategory id uh, to products table this migration okay and inside this migration let's add here a column so right here dollar table arrow data type big integer and column name subcategory id sub category underscore id and also set here the unsigned and null label okay and here also set the foreign key so right here dollar table arrow foreign and right here the column name which is this one subcategory id and add here the reference so write here references with column id uh, with id and uh, add here the table names so right here on table name subcategories subcategories okay and also add here on delete cascade All right now inside this uh, down method inside this uh, schema let's add here first drop here the foreign key so for that just write here dollar table arrow drop foreign and add here the foreign key name which is products underscore subcategory underscore id underscore foreign okay and now drop the column so right here dollar table arrow drop column and column name this one subcategory underscore id all right now save this migration and uh, let's migrate this migration okay so switch to the command prompt and uh, just type here the command php artisan migrate Okay, migration done. Now let's run the application. So write here PHP artisan serve. Now switch to the project and just close this migration. And now let's open the web.php file. So just go inside the routes directory, then open web.php file. And inside this file, uh, inside this route, uh, this product category route, let's add here one more parameter optional parameter so right here curly bracket and parameter name is s category for subcategory okay s category slug and for making this optional just add here the question mark all right now save this file okay one more thing uh, let's open the products model so go inside the app directory and uh, then models and from here let's open this one product.php file and inside this model uh, let's create a function uh, for the subcategory so after this just write here public function and function name subcategories okay and uh, after this just return here inside this function just return here 
donor this arrow belongs to uh, model name subcategory colon colon class and uh, add here the column name subcategory underscore id okay now save this file all right now let's open the category uh, category component class file this one okay so just go inside the app directory then http liveware admin uh, sorry liveware and then uh, from here let's open inside uh, from the liveware directory let's open this one category component dot php file okay and uh, inside this file uh, let's create here a new property for subcategory slug okay so right here public dollar s category s category underscore slug all right now inside the mount method let's pass here another argument which is dollar s category slug and also set here the null value by default okay now inside this mount method we just write here dollar this arrow s category slug is equal to this value s category underscore slug s category underscore slug all right now inside this render method uh, let's check here if dollar this arrow s category slug is not null then first fetch here the subcategory so right here s category s category is equal to subcategory where slug is equal to uh, this one s category slug so right here dollar this arrow s category slug then call here the first method first all right and uh, before this if let's create here three uh, variable okay first variable is category id so write your category this one category id and set the default value null another variable category name and set the default value blank another one this is the temporary variable filled filter okay and set the value blank all right now here uh, let's fetch here the subcategory id and inside inside this category id uh, fetch the category id and assign inside this category id okay this variable so right here dollar category id is equal to dollar s category arrow id and also fetch here the category name subcategory name so right here category variable name category name and uh, get here the subcategory name so right here is category arrow name okay and inside the filter just assign a value which is sub all right and if this category this category slug is null then inside the else part let's cut this line and paste inside this else part okay and just select this tab and also inside the filter tab filter variable filter is equal to set here the blank value okay now uh, uh, let's copy this filter variable and inside this statement inside this where statement just add here dollar filter and concatenation sign okay now let's copy and paste here also paste here and here also all right 
now save this file now go to the shop uh, shop component uh, view file so just go inside the resources directory resources views live wire and from here let's open this one shop component dot letter php file okay and inside this file let's find here the category list and here is the category list and this is the subcategory okay so here let's add a link inside this href so just remove this hash sign and add here the route so write a double curly bracket then route and route name uh, route name is this one product dot category okay so copy and paste here and also pass here two parameter first is category slug and second is subcategory slug okay so first pass here the category slug so inside the big packet just write here category slug arrow dollar category arrow slug and the second parameter which is uh, this one is category slug so let's copy and paste here and now just write here arrow dollar s category arrow slug all right now save this file one more thing uh, let's copy this visit content uh, all categories visit content so just select this div so select from here uh, to here okay so just select and copy and now let's open the category component view file so just open this and you can see here this is the all category visit so just select this div and uh, this div and just delete and paste here okay now save this file now everything is done so let's check this okay so switch to the browser and just refresh the page all right now uh, let's click on the this category first category and you can see here these are the products inside this first category okay this category now let's create uh, some sub category inside this category okay so I'm just going to create a subcategory of television and camera. Okay. So go to the admin menu and just click on those categories. And here inside this category, let's add new subcategory. Okay. So click on add new. And here enter the category name. First category, which is camera. Select the parent category, this one. Click on submit. All right, let's refresh the page. And now let's add another subcategory, which is television. Okay, and uh, select the parent category, this one. Click on submit. Created. Now just check. So click on all category. And you can see here, these are the subcategory inside this category. Okay, camera and television. If I refresh this, uh, refresh this page, you can see here a plus sign and if I click on this plus sign, you can see the subcategory camera and television. Okay. So uh, first of all, uh, let's open the product, product table. Okay. And uh, set this subcategory ID to the product. All right. So this time i am just going to doing this manually but in next video we will see uh, how can we uh, set this subcategory uh, from add add product uh, form and edit product form okay so for now just let's open the php my admin so go to the localhost php my admin and uh, Let's open the database Laravel at e-commerce DB. Now browse the products table, this one. And uh, first, let's copy the 
this product name so i'm just copy this product name and find and you can see here this is the first product so here this is the category id and this is the subcategory id okay so inside this subcategory id let's set here the subcategory which is the television okay now enter all right now let's find this one camera so just copy this and uh, inside this table let's find and uh, here is the product now set here the subcategory which is camera okay now press enter one more this one copy and find okay this one select and edit and set the camera okay i just subcategory all right now let's check this so first refresh the page all right and uh, here inside this category you can see here the these products okay and if i click on this plus icon and then click on camera let's click uh, let's open the new tab inside the new tab so just press control and click and uh, here you can see the products which are inside this subcategories okay inside this camera subcategories and if i check this one television and here you can see the product which are inside this television subcategories okay so in this way you can show products by subcategory in next video we will see how can we add subcategory option on add product and edit product page in admin panel okay so that's all about so products by subcategory so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching